All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install uh, the software called Pie Hole. This software works great for blocking ads and everything on all your devices that's connected to your uh, router or your network. So we're going to install this on a Raspberry Pi 3 for just test purposes. I have this running on a banana pie at the at the current moment but we're just going to install it on a pie here for testing so for the purpose of the video anyway let's get to it so we can install this with one batch command so it doesn't take too long to set this up And I already did an update upgrade on the uh, on the pie, so we won't worry about that. So it'll automatically go through and uh, basically <clears throat> install everything that we need. We just gotta configure a few little things and uh, be up and running. So, so we're going to be running on the Ethernet connection because you could do both. Either well, I mean you could do either or. <clears throat> then to uh, select your DNS, they added a lot more features to this than what it was when I first started using mine. So. We'll just say Google. So we can just check these or uncheck these. So we'll just let them go. And we're just going to worry about IPv4. Now, this is the IP address of my Pi 131 with a subnet of 24 now you can go ahead and change that here if you'd like or just go ahead and use it we're just going to go ahead and use it and do you want the graphs say so, yeah and we'll do yeah for that one yes Now the thing is, this has a DHCP server built into the software, so you can actually turn your DHCP off on your router and use what's on the uh, what's in the pie hole, which I have done that in the past myself. <clears throat> but right now, currently, I'm using my router as the DHCP, and I just added the rat the uh, IP address of the pie for the DNS server on my router. So, <clears throat> that is totally up to you how you would like to configure this. So once this is done, like I said, it don't take too long. And once this is done, it'll give you a, uh, <clears throat> a password, which you can change it by uh, doing a command. So we're just going to let it go. All 
All right, so your password is this right here. Right down here is the password. So we can just uh, uh, write that down or whatever. But here's where you need to go. So we'll just hit OK. So uh, we need to go to that. But right here is the command to change the password. If you don't like what they give you, you could just use it to change it. So we're going to go ahead and go to the address of the pi. Let me bring this screen over here. All right, so as you can see, it gives you the temperature and stuff. Uh, what is the password here? Is the all right we're in so we'll just all right now we're logged in so what we can do is go to settings <clears throat> this is where your dns is we'll listen on on that port uh we can select that and select that we can hit save so now it'll show the temperature in uh, Fahrenheit uh, then if we click on dashboard it'll take us back it'll show us that we have one client now this will obviously go up so I mean if I uh, add this IP onto my uh, router then obviously this stuff would change but it's not going to because it's not set up so but this is it I mean it's pretty self-explanatory what you can do whitelist blacklist stuff uh, and so on but now that we're there with that we're going to minimize that for the time being because we're going to go ahead and install how to add speed test to this if you would like to have a speed test show on the pi we can do that so uh Bear with me and we'll go through this. So hopefully this won't take too long. Let me pause this and I'll be back when this is done. All right, now we got another command here to run. To install some stuff. It's already that. Now, you want to make sure you change the uh, your local time. So we'll just pick one here. Then we got to install another one here. Then we got to do a pseudo reboot. this until it's back up and run all right I ran a command I ran this command just to make sure that the speed test was working which it was I'm just not running it because it was showing my IP address so now what we need to do is we need to get into root and CD into a directory and we gotta move some stuff. Do another one here. 
So with that being said, let me pause this one more time. All right, now we're back. <clears throat> I did a reboot after that. Got back in here. So we'll get down here to settings. As you can see, there's speed test. It's disabled. You can do every hour, two hours, four hours, six hours, 12 hours. So we'll just say one hour. And if you want to flush it, we'll just save. Now that it's saved. And there's your chart now for your speed test. So every hour it'll do a speed test and it'll show you. Now the sad thing is if you're using a Raspberry Pi 3 or before, you're going to be capped at 100 meg. At least with the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, you'll be capped at 300 meg, which is a lot better. Now the nice thing is I'm using a uh, Banana Pi m2 which is it has a 10 slash 100 slash a thousand uh uh ethernet jack on it so that's not a problem but uh that's it folks i mean so it's not too hard to set this up the guys make it make it really easy for a user to set this up so uh if you want to disable it just disable it save it so all right thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and uh i'll see you on the next one thank you